me myself, I come from a family of hard workers. I'm a person who, I mean, I have my PhD. I've worked hard, worked out at the Space Center for 20 something years. I'm a veteran. In my eyes, I'm not the typical, when I see homelessness, when I think of it, I never thought I would be homeless. And it can happen to anybody. And I tell a lot of people, you know, I said, one day I was your neighbor. I was the typical, you know, going to work, good job, and seemed like everything, you know, on top of the world. The next day I was there, the person who needed help. Uh, in 2011, uh, I was laid off, you know, at the end of the space shuttle uh, program. And after that, um, a lot of my peers uh, actually went to work with other companies in other states, and a lot of people lost their jobs. So a um, few of us stayed around here, and I stayed, you know, because uh, with my son, you know, his dad lives in the area. So I was trying to stay here in the area, you know, instead of moving away. At that time, I no longer had a job here and no longer had a place to stay. And so we went to um, Brevard Sharing Center and they actually told us about Family Promise of, of Brevard. I had never heard of it. The call from Janet was a true defining moment for us in that she just defied all stereotypes about family homelessness. Here, here was a, a hardworking mother single mother who was a veteran who had worked for 23 years at Boeing who has a PhD in religious education who just wanted so much for her family but she was just in a, a situation that she couldn't find her way out of and she was just really struggling and so I was afraid to go in any kind of a program you know I had never been homeless before and uh, so uh, Jonathan and I actually decided you know to go in when we were told about the program because it was nothing like I had ever heard of before. It actually was a hand up and not a hand out and in the program you actually you do the work. You know, they provide all the resources to help you get back on your feet but you actually have to do the work to be able to be successful in the program. Our mission at Family Promise is to keep families together during a time of a housing crisis and to provide them shelter and meals and unconditional support so that they are able to move themselves back into housing. Our vision is that we wanna move them from surviving to being a thriving member of our society and community, that they're giving back because we were able to give to them when they needed it the most. At the core of our program is our interfaith hospitality network. That is our emergency shelter program and it is a community response to ending family homelessness. We invite congregations and volunteers to partner with us to provide emergency shelter in their congregations. They take rooms in their building in the congregations and turn them into bedrooms so that it feels like a safe place to be together as a family. And then they provide nourishing meals, unconditional and compassionate support. And then at the same time, we have comprehensive support services through our resource center, highly trained and skilled staff that can assess, address, and alleviate the barriers to housing and help that family create that pathway back home. The whole goal is to provide a home until they're moving back into their home. Brevard Public School District sends a bus here to make sure that kids who are in our program can get to and from their home schools. We provide daily transportation to and from our host congregations and our resource center. At our resource center, we have anything a family would need. We have laundry facilities, we have showers, we have a playroom where children can be kids because kids should be kids during this time of transition because that's what makes them feel safe and parents have a place to store their belongings in a safe locked room so they don't have to worry about leaving their belongings every day and they have a place to write their address on their employment applications and to get mail received to them here which they can't have when they're experiencing homelessness. The facility itself was nothing like I imagined. It's a beautiful facility. Uh, it's clean. It reminded me of a, of a home. Everything we needed was provided when we went into the program. 
uh, whatever money we had, we were told to save that, and that could be used, you know, when we were able to get back out and get back on our feet, we could use that towards housing, towards our own needs. We would go to the host church, stay at the church for a week, and the people were so friendly. And what I guess struck me is, you know how, you, you, you know as a Christian, and Jonathan and I, we are Christians, and we read in the Bible how it t talks about, you know, helping those in need. But to actually see somebody do that, it really was you know, very humbling. Families are the fastest growing segment of the homeless population, so much so that one in every four persons who are homeless is a family with a child. Right here in Brevard County, every year, we consistently see a growth in students who are coded as homeless, and that number doesn't account for children who are birthed to five. So we know that it exists, and we know that we can do something about it. But the key is keeping the family together, because we believe that a family should stay together during one of the most difficult times of their lives and not be separated. And that's why we prioritize families with fathers, uh, families with children over the age of 12 who are male, who could not be served in our current shelter system. And for me, the thing I was trying to hold on to was my dignity. I felt as though I had been stripped of just about every material thing. My son, Jonathan, what was so encouraging to me was he said, Mom, the important thing, the most important thing is that we are together. And with Family Promise of Brevard, they're the only place that can keep a family together. We serve four families at a time, up to 14 people in our shelter program at any given time. And what that's translated to has been an average of 25 families a year. We launched our aftercare program called Keeping the Promise. So we have served 25 families a year, but now we're moving into serving aftercare families so that when a family is coming into housing, they're now connected to services as they exit and that we're actually following them for a full year post-graduation and we're able to be that support system that maintains in their lives. Right now, we own our own home. Really God blessed us. Uh, back in June, I was able to buy it, and it's a, the perfect home for Jonathan and myself. It's, uh, I am able to do my own, have my own nice kitchen and be able to cook, and he has his own a room, and just the home, what we thought, it seemed like we gave up, it felt like we gave up so much, but we gained so much more. I love seeing a family move from homelessness into housing, knowing that we can be that key to moving them forward. That it's the family doing the work, but it's because we've come together as a community nonprofit that we can provide that safety net for a family. There's no greater feeling than when a family comes to me with their keys in hand and jingles them and says, we're moving into our house today or moving in tomorrow and that we can celebrate their success because we didn't do it for them, the families did it for themselves. But the thing that I love the most is that we provided that support, that safety that didn't exist before. We created something out of what already existed. To me, the main thing with Family Promise is that they keep families together. My situation, I can say 100%, if it had not been for Family Promise, I would not have my son today. It's part of a, a movement of ending family homelessness and that eases the suffering for families that have no place to go and need a hand up at the most, most critical time of their life, that, that we can reach that hand out and say, we're here for you and, it, and it's okay and that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that we're gonna be part of that and we're gonna walk it together and that's, that's really what the promise and family promise means, that, that we promise that we're here for you and that we're not abandoning you and that, that we're gonna work as hard as you're working, but that we've gotta do it together and that we can do it and that we'd love to come to your house when you move in and it's the greatest part of what we do and, and that's what makes this job just so much more than, than just a job. For anybody out there that's thinking about helping, don't wait. I'm telling you, the program Family Promise of Rivar is so valuable. Anything you can do, donations, volunteering your time, hosting, uh, the food you provide, the, any kind of service, it's not a lost cause. 
anything that you can do, it's, it's a worthwhile organization. I'm telling you from experience, Jonathan and I, my family, we would not be together now if it had not been for Family Promise of Brevard. Family Promise of Brevard is a lifesaver, a lifesaver.